Hi everyone, Susan Winter here. Thank you for coming to my channel. And for my subscribers, I do appreciate your coming back and your incredible comments and your support. And if you're new, please listen to today's message and I hope that you get something out of it because today we're talking about, you know, you get that feeling it's a new relationship or even an existing relationship and something's wrong but you, you hesitate talking about it. When should you speak and when should you shut up? And if you do speak, how do you say it? How do you tell your partner something feels off? Okay, so this is what we're talking about today. And I am going to read this question that came from David. David, thank you for this. So David writes, Hi Susan, I have a history of getting close to guys getting my hopes up for a relationship, and then seeing them pull away because they're not sure about their feelings. When they do so, I immediately feel the need to address it. Those conversations always end up being heavy, which breaks the spell and pushes them away. Am I wrong for wanting to talk? Should I give them more time to figure it out? I love it, David, you've kind of analyzed your own problem. So one, you see a pattern, great. If we could all start to recognize the pattern and see our part in it, we would be halfway there. Now, a couple of words, you know, words aren't just casual. It, when you say them, they, they mean something to me. So you immediately feel the need to address it. That's fear, okay? I don't like the fact that you're putting all of your value into this person's analysis of you. Why aren't you pulling back and asking yourself, hmm, do I like them? See, you fall fast, you want a relationship, so you fall fast, and then you want them to be in the same place. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but you should be turning the tables. It's like you're auditioning for all these guys all the time. And if you know that you are capable of giving a loving and committed relationship, then you have a chip to offer, a pretty big chip. So firstly, I want you to quit giving them the power to tell you how they feel. Secondly, I want you to understand that this is part and parcel of a new relationship. New relationships are tricky. They're like walking on freshly frozen over ice. We had that in Minnesota. We'd get a quick freeze. The lake would be like glass. But you don't know that it's completely frozen all the way. So you're taking a risk and a little bit of crackle under your feet and you freeze. And that's what happens in a new relationship. There are going to be fits and starts. There are going to be times that your partner moves forward and encourages you and then retracts twice as far back as they came forward. This is normal. Now, this tendency for you to immediately talk about that, this is one I want you to absolutely be aware of. That's your default that you need to correct. The first one you need to talk to is yourself. You go separate yourself from your partner, go journal and say, okay, what am I feeling? I'm feeling fear. Why? Because I'm so afraid that this is going to happen again because it's happened before. But wait, I'm not in the same position I was before. I used to let this drive me and I didn't know why it was driving me. Now I know that this is my default. My tendency is to go here, but I'm going to look at this and I'm going to make a different choice this time. I'm going to choose to trust not trust him, trust myself. I'd like this to work out. I'd like to have a relationship with him, but I'm going to trust the universe and myself this time. I'm going to lean back and let this go. I will have the discussion in time, but not on my impulse, not when it's gnawing at me because I've learned that that immediate impulse for me to do this ends up. And the second part of this is a heavy conversation. I'd run too. So yes, when we feel something with a partner, it is right to speak up. That's correct. You did that right. Timing, which battle we want to pick, that is a wisdom that you learn over the course of relationships. Which battle is worth fighting for? If your partner's hurt you or been mean to you, you need to say, hey, that was not right. That really hurt. 
I wish you would have done this instead. I just need to let you know. But in this case, it sounds like you want to know too soon, and then the fact that you pressure them because it's coming from fear, not coming from a place of stability. And if it were just a matter of clarity, it wouldn't be a heavy conversation. So, David, don't think you have to have a heavy conversation. I urge you to find a way to do it in one sentence, with humor, as a matter of fact. You know, like, well, I don't know, doesn't look like I'm going to be seeing you at Christmas. <laughs> right? Or yes, like to see you at Christmas, what do you think? So, whatever it is, you've got to find a way in your own language to do something that is not a heavy conversation. Because when you're new in a relationship, if you have reactivity and then you need to have this whole big discussion, a person who wanted to like you is probably going to turn around and say, God, David was great, but oh, man, that's so much work. Am I going to have to go through this every time and we have to stop and have a discussion? So, act more in accordance with knowing your worth. Look at your partner and instead of asking, am I good enough for them? Do they want me? Are they good enough for me and my goals? Are they someone I want? Maybe I should be evaluating them instead of on Tinder hooks waiting for their evaluating me. And if I feel something come up, let me journal about it first to make sure that I can separate where my fear is talking from where my actual question is. Because a question that comes out of a clarification is felt entirely differently than a question that comes out of fear. A question that comes out of fear, the person's automatic response will be to shut you down. It's like, oh man, I don't want to deal with this. A question that comes out of clarity is, oh, I, I'm just not sure about that. So, let me understand. So, are you saying that you are open to the possibility of relationships or you're not? I'm not quite clear on that part. You know, an, a simple clarification. I'm actually looking for a partner in time. That's my thing. Just thought you should know that because that is my goal. However you need to say that, you need to make a clarification. So that's the discussion. Because what you're really asking is, do you like me and are we continuing? I think if you make these changes in the way you approach this, you will be experiencing a completely different reality. And I'd really like you to write me back and let me know after doing this a month or two how it's worked out for you. Because sometimes I hear back from you all and sometimes I don't. Sometimes you write me right on this page and I love it. But once in a while I hear back from you because everybody who sends me one of these, if you don't know, when you send me a video request, I actually return a personal email to you giving you the link. And I know that some people it probably could go into spam or you're not sure and you're afraid to click on it. So I say, go to my channel now. If you want, here's the, here's the link. So I'd love to hear from you once you've changed those things, what happens, because I think it can be a game changer for you. And if you have a question for me, write to me. We get dozens every day but I try and pick the ones that are the most pertinent and apply to most of us. And um, if you want to work with me, go to the consultation page at susanwinter.net. Otherwise, you can hear this on Spotify, Our Heart Radio, or wherever you play your music. And thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. My best to you all.